Your Excellency Shri C. V. Rao, Governor of the State of Maharashtra, ladies and gentlemen, absolute pleasure to be here today. The journey started about 18 months back when we got together and we said, we have to make a difference. We have to make a difference, try to solve some of the intractable problems facing the world. The question that might immediately come to your mind, what's the intractable problems facing the world? In a world where more wealth has been created than ever before, more people have been lifted out of poverty than ever before, and more aids and gadgets have been provided to humankind than ever before. But if we pause and look at the current model of capitalism, it has its limitations. Today, when we look around, there are 45 people who have more wealth than the three and a half billion people at the bottom of the seven billion population that we have. 800 million people go to bed hungry every day. Every six seconds, a child dies of malnutrition. And it was not surprising when Edelman did a survey of trust, it came out that 50% of the world's population, they want a change. And it's not surprising. And how do we forget that we as mankind today are standing at a juncture where we could be accused of having played a part of irreversible damage to our planet. And in that context, we have to step back and look at the journey that India has gone through. India today stands at the cusp of greatness. We are a $2.6 trillion economy. No one would have thought three, four decades back that India could be called the fastest growing large economy. In the last 10 years, we have created as much absolute GDP as the first four decades since independence. And that's the pace that we have got into. We will become very shortly the fifth largest economy in the world. If you just extrapolate the growth rates of the last 15, 20 years, by 2032, we would become a $7 trillion economy. And if we bend the growth curve, we could well become a $10 trillion economy. Poverty, as we know, will no longer exist. During the last 20 years, 20% 20 of Indians have been lifted from the poverty trap and they have moved to the lower middle class. We would become a middle class country. But in this growth journey, we cannot have the same per capita impact of greenhouse gas emissions as the countries in the West did. We cannot afford to do that. We cannot have just absolute growth without looking at the inclusive growth. Those are the kind of challenges that face our country. But we are all a bunch of optimists who have got together. We come together believing that whenever mankind has faced serious problems, the whole narrative changes dramatically and humankind comes together to solve the problem. And that is at the juncture at which we stand. Lorenzo talked about that we picked up four key themes. These are themes where not the government can solve the problem alone, nor any private sector company can solve alone, nor any NGO can solve. We are talking about how do we have sustainable, low-cost diagnostic for healthcare? We are talking about low-cost renewable energies. We are talking about sustainable mining. And last but not the least, we are talking about how do we create ways to value? How do we change the narrative around plastic? Let me dwell a little bit more about plastic. I believe plastic has been one of the great inventions of our generation. Unfortunately, the narrative around plastic has changed so dramatically that it has kind of become public enemy number one. It, plastic per se is not bad. Plastic becomes bad when we are not able to manage the waste that comes out of plastic use. 95% of the plastic is a single-use plastic, and then it litters the entire planet. Eight million tons of plastic goes into the sea. So we have to bring a solution around it. And when we look at plastic, we are 
focusing from a perspective of the four R's. One is how do you reduce the plastic consumption per unit of packaging material? How do you reduce the bad plastic? How do you reuse the plastic? How do you recycle the plastic? And how do you recover energy out of plastic? That is how we have come together and we said, we will bring in a new lens. We will bring in a collective might. We will invite partners and innovators to come and help solve the problem. And that is how Zintio India 2022 Exchange started the journey. Today, at the square, we are going to showcase the work that has happened. I have no doubts whatsoever that this is not the end of the journey. In fact, this is the beginning of the journey. It took us some time to put our heads together. It took us some time to define the problem. It took us some time to define what our intermediate goal should be. But now there is a lot of clarity and we are clearly looking at moving ahead and making a difference. So this is what we would be showcasing and I would urge you all, please go around the square, take a look, give your ideas, give your feedback so that we can build on it. Most importantly, thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for your participation. Early in the morning, you see this hall full. It indicates again that whenever there is a crisis, humankind comes together. Thank you for your presence.